I, I kind of wonder about that dialogue he says at the end there. You, what, you mean the... Oh, or he, the... he asks, what are you? I, I, you know what, that is kind of weird. I just kind of always figured that he just spent so long talking that the little light and his little all flame went out, but... I mean, that kinda, does kind of feel like there's something more to it. I mean, that's not, we're not even memeing you right now, I literally don't know. I, I, I don't either. It, it, he kind of just, like, says something random, it's weird. I'm trying to decide if I want, what, what ring I want. I guess I'll take this one. For a bit less life. Alright. Um, Let's... Mine actually does not look horrible, just not for me. Oh, well, let me have a look at that in a second. Oh yeah, give that, pass that up, son. Because it's got so much physical damage and stuff to attack, it's actually not bad. I mean, the one I have is, uh... And mana regeneration. The one I have oh, is pretty wow. shit now, actually, now that I look at it. <laughs> you can get this one, this one actually has double life rolls if you want it. Oh shit. It's what I was using from, like, Act fucking 2, I think. <laughs> Actually, pretty good considering I'm using white rings because I've given you all my gear because I'm just that nice. I mean, we're very different characters though. Oh, yeah, but I mean, you know, a life ring is a life ring is a life ring at the end of the day. It's a shame that they made you know, energy shield really bad. It's a shame about a lot of things, actually. Is everyone actually rolling? Yeah, energy shield built anymore. Yeah, actually, they're, they're not as bad as you may think they are. I think they're pretty bad. Well, you know, that's a it's a personal opinion. You there. Let me bend oh, your air for a Oh, let's bend our rear. Even more full of your Yeah, we we've seen it. Why, before. why is it just a sewer grating in the middle of the Well the, the gardens? The gardens need a sewer too, you know. Where do trees poop? Well, you know. As it's being cut God, out. I hate you so much. Uh oh, it's killed dummies. Put your back into it. Here's the problem, I can't fucking... Because <laughs> Wild Strike needs me to hit stuff. Just just follow just follow my skill. Oh, you got one, Mike. We lost. It's over. You got one be way before. I, I only just now noticed it, to be honest with you. I don't think we've ever lost this one, by the way. We've lost, like, one duel with him, because it was like, some insane shit where, like... Okay, when when they first introduced the Masters, Vagan had... The, like, Vagan, like, always changes his attack pattern, right? He always does weird things. When he first came out, he had this thing where he would use Righteous Fire, which means he burns for a part of his life as damage, and it was really strong. And at the same time, he would throw rocks at you. Not like little rocks either. These were like some big, like, like Hulk throw rocks. And he would, like, and this was like a level six or seven zone. And we were playing hardcore at the time, and Vegan just like, come to me, Exile. Let us fight for Doresso. And then he just slapped our shit so hard it was unreal. I'm just gonna show off actually some of the um, kind of the environmental stuff around here because it's actually kind of neat. So there's um, so if you heard the dialogue before, they were talking about how um, Dominus and Piety were afraid to go into the temple. So there's like there's some black guards actually around here and some equipment. So they they clearly kind of made it here with a caravan, which is kind of neat. And uh, I'm wondering if you can see the elevator he made on the side. Is there uh, an elevator? I don't know if we can see it from the outside out here. But I know we can definitely see it from the inside, a few spots outside as well. Yeah, basically, the, the entire time we've been we've been seeing like they've been fighting their way into here, but they didn't want to go into the tower, but they want to go to the top of this tower. So, anyways, come on over. Cause elevation is key. Don't. I have this little fortification set up here, and just everybody's dead. Climb just everybody's the dead. King. Just like the stories my mom used to read to me. Yeah, pretty much. It makes us. It makes you wonder why. Why would we go in the tower if uh, if the guy that you know sent us the exile and all sorts of crazy crap was too scared to go in here? But you know, whatever, right? What are we? We're monsters. Yes. Yeah, so says the man that continuously like kills himself to be revived. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does that mean Fairgraves is Wraith King? Uh, I hope not. Oh, okay. I would. I would hate him. A lot. <laughs> I know somebody who would like to meet Fairgraves. <laughs> Dear old Fairgraves. So I, I noticed something. There is an ability called Dark Pact, which you can use to sacrifice uh, minion life to do damage. And you can also use it on yourself um, for the same kind of effect. 
And use it on yourself, cast it once, but if you use it actually on the skeletons, it chains. Like, it'll hit multiple skeletons in a row. Have you noticed that? Uh, yeah. I just, I just noticed that. I mean, Mainly because I just now skill. started using it. Oh, let's see. Oh, there you go. Let's see, your skill. It does literally nothing for damage. Yeah, alright. Right. But you can spam it, I guess. Yeah, well, I was only using it once, so obviously it's not gonna be mine. That, and I don't have much minion life, because minions are just kind of like a sideshow attraction to me. I see, I see. Just like my life. I'm going up the stairs. So, uh, the, the person that the, the, the main kind of bosses area that they apparently really didn't want to go in here for was, oh, there's Blood Rage, I, I can't level it though. I'll just put it on the side. Actually, I haven't been using Blood Rage at all. Uh, Quigula's here, because he, you can tell because of the big fuck you, like... Lightning storm? Yeah. Or lightning traps, for sick, I guess. This person actually did a lot of damage on, like, uh, uh, higher difficulties, but now we don't even have to worry about higher difficulties, so... I mean, mostly I think my, well, my light resist is 40%, so that helps, I guess. I was just about to look at something. What was I about to look at? You were looking at Blood Rage before you got attacked oh, by Caligula. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I have it on my offhand. Because I didn't have enough green slots, I see. Do you have enough green slots now? No. <laughs> don't question is that. I don't know. Maybe you might have gotten some more. This Jesus. is passive. You never get the fucking sockets you want on items. But you can totally reforge it onto the items, but you don't want to because it's fucking garbage items. Well, that that all changed when the Harbingers attacked, so... I mean... Harbingers. I mean, there is that one item that one item where I could link something and then make it into a rare, that Engineer's Orb. Uh... I think what you're looking for is an Engineer's Orb. Engineer's Orb is for, uh, strong boxes. Okay, whatever it is. You're for strong boxes, fucker. Yeah, I am. I love me some strong backses. Strong badses. I didn't really, I, I didn't really finish my thought like about 20 minutes ago with Diablo 3. That's uh, because you, you started talking to Siosa. So ba basically, Diablo 3 is a game that's been out for like nine years now, right? And it, it, it still costs money. And you have still to buy... Still costs money. <laughs> that's, this is Blizzard hey, we're talking Path of Exile, about. okay, you know what, hold on, hold on. Path of Exile is free and they just released an expansion for six acts that's and it. like 30 new skills, alright. Oh, oh, Mike, hey, do you want to play the Necromancer Diablo 3? Hey, shield over some money for our nine-year-old game. Yeah, that, they really have to change their business model. It's not going to fly anymore. There's a lot of competition. I mean, if it was good, it wouldn't be that bad, but it's it's just not that good. That's the, that's the problem. Like it's just like my, my my thing is why would you pay money for a class that you would almost like it's it's an arch type right like an ARPG like a summoner necromancer kind of dealy is like a, like a specific arch type right yeah why wasn't that a base game I I, I so, well they have um, you can kind of have summoners with the magic type class in there right but but. I mean, you get my point, though, right? Like, why would you pay for a class like that? It just the, seems really, really. The thing silly. is, the way the skill system works. Here's the thing: you can, as I said, everything is based upon your weapon DPS, and you can change. Like, let's say you want to change your build. Let's say, let's say, Pat, in this game, you wanted to do like Wild Strike. Oh, here's by the way some more stuff. We're coming up the side, and apparently, this guy got fucking beheaded. Holy shit! Jesus! Hey, the, hey, this guy got a little bit more than beheaded. Yeah, uh, oh, you got D something, uh, whatever. A decapitated is where you lose your head. I know, D something. You could say this is Ray class gone wild, he's missing his top. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was, that was, that, that was not good. Um, so, like, let's say you want to respec your character. Let's say you were like a summoner here, and you want to respec into, like, let's say, I don't know. Uh, you want to do arc or something? Fireball. Do you do what you do in uh, in Diablo three to respec? What'd you do? You simply choose do skills from the fucking pop up. There is no penalty at all. You can do it. I think there's a so bit, there's a bit of a cooldown when you change your skills up, but that's it. So wait, so if I'm a summoner right now, w w what's my summon damage like based off of? Um, my prob weapon? probably your weapon DPS. That's 
I mean, that seems wrong. I mean, I haven't played it for a very long time, but uh, that's kind of how it works. So, like, everything, basically, it's a, it's a, just a numbers game. You don't care about any other stats. You know, you want to change skills, you fucking just go ahead and put another skill up. Like, if you, you just change it up, you can do it at any time. Now, I mean, it's, it's great if you don't like having to re-roll every single time that you want to, like, try something new. But it's bad because... There's there's no build diversity. Like you don't really make builds. You don't you Everybody don't start up. Everybody. Well, you you start up maybe a different class, but you don't start up like a new like wizard or something or a new character. I mean that may have changed though because they have like some kind of paragon system, which is kind of like I, I don't really know how it works. I, I didn't really I tried it a little bit and I didn't get far enough to actually try that out. So I, I think they added like some. I I think it's some sort of like passive system. I, I mean, I, I don't want to talk about that because, like, um, I don't know enough and I'm probably wrong. They, I think they added something to basically add some sort of, like, reason to have to re-roll characters, but, I mean, it's still not great. Because nah. you think of the depth that this game has. Oh, by the way, if uh, you don't have the Scion, she'll be right here. This We always have to pass her right here. We already have her, so... But to unlock that gate, you have to pay $15, obviously. <laughs> pay $15. <laughs> Ethical classes, that's all I gotta say. Ethical classes. Oh yeah. See, my thing is, like, especially if you're like, like, I wouldn't even say that, let, let's not even say that Path of Exile is our biggest competition. Let's just say it is competition, because there's also the Van Helsing games, there's also Grim Dawn. If you've got other games like that, that are not only competing with you, it's like, genre-wise, but also on all consoles, because, I mean, Path of Exile is on consoles now. Uh -huh. When you'd be trying to be like, hey guys, let's get some people in, let's release a DLC for a game that, you know, is, is, it's, it's free. Get people, you know, popping and shit. Alright, whatever. We, we, got the, we got the rooftop now, and we're gonna go talk to good old Dominus. Let's go. Don Welcome to the greatest of arenas, dearest. God is watching. Alright, it's a three-stage fight. You basically fight like little things that he has, so this guy's deal is... Spins around a lot. There's one with fireballs and there's one with sparks. So I'm trying to kill the spin to win guy. He's making Cyclone look really good right now, Mike. I'm just saying. Fuck, I'm like trapped in there because I'm like, like, fucking frozen locked or something. I don't know. All right. I mean that guy's the that guy's a piece of shit for us, but whatever. Yeah, he's actually he actually just destroyed my minions because every time he swings his mace, he shoots like 20 fireballs that all explode for AOE damage. It's actually really annoying. Pretty much. We're still in the first phase. Uh, now we're in the second phase. So whenever he yells anything, uh, we kind of run. We kinda, run. Yeah, not that. That one's fine. Mostly. No, that, that's just where he hates me. This is the one where you run away. I mean, I'll probably just tank it. Or maybe, maybe not. I don't, maybe I'm not scared. that one. Basically, it's it's kind of like one you want to. This is a phase where you kind of want to maintain your distance in certain certain cases. Yeah, there you go. Like that oh, Jesus. one. He keeps shooting at my minions and then die. Or the minions die. Yeah, he's he really doesn't like your minions. Apparently skeletons, uh... Ow. Skeletons he really does like. not like my skeleton. Jesus Christ, man. Alright, and this one you stay as close as possible. Otherwise, you'll start, like, leaping around and then there's, like, fucking blood rain and shit. Ugh. Blood oh, rain. By the way, I can only tell you about the boss fights we know of, because uh, there's a lot of them going to be coming up that we don't know of. The blood rain is gross. Period. He puts a lot of shield around himself, and uh... fucking hell, I don't even have the mana sustain for fucking wild strike. Let's see what this does. Uh oh, blood rain. Yeah, he's getting uh, he's getting corrupting blood stacks on him. I mean, I have I have some on myself too, but that's a mechanic for later. Adjusted right to address you. an unjust exile. I think we're even now, High Templar. Oh, Lady Diala, why'd you portal in? You have mounted the summit of the Empire, not a cockroach. You have crushed the Bug Emperor and wiped his maggot dreams from the skin of Rayclast. Dominus exiled you, naked and alone, unto the palm of death. But you would not die, would you? No. No. 
You cuddled to death, promised it the world, made it your conquest, and so generously shared it with all your fleeting friends here in Rayclast. Not once did you forget what you were. Not a cockroach feeding on the corpse of a dead empire, like the pest you crushed as you walked. A man, the sort of man that planted the seed of this empire right here in Sam so long ago. What teetering and twisted life it still holds dear. This land owes to you, Julith. Of course, there will be more. You know that, don't you? Emperors. Avaricious little pests scrabbling to steal the legacy of their betters. Unless we burn that legacy, sear its infection from the flesh of existence. Go north, my lovely Unbug. Go to Highgate, to the beginning of the end. Dive headlong into the nightmare sea. Catch and roast yourself a nice big fishy. All right. And that, that's uh, on to Act, uh, act four. 4. She had some of the Stormlord weirdest lines of dialogue for me. Know, I'm just I'm just going to go ahead and say things. say that. What could be more you are the one to dance and not a cockroach. Uh, you cockroach. love talking over the duels every time you fucking find a logs for an area. I never get I never get monologues. The scion like all she talks about is her dead her dead uh, husband and like I know you you're ignoring it. Oh hey, there's um gauntlets here. Actually. I believe in traveling light. Fuck you, you believe in traveling light, bitch. I'm not even ignoring it. As soon as you I came that. in here, she said, okay, she said this smells like my dead husband, and then I, I that, that was it. <laughs> I mean, what, how do you follow that up? I don't even know. I, 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 that's why I ignored it. I don't know. I, it, it was just a what like a one-off thing. So I thought it was done. I didn't know anybody else was gonna monologue. This smells like my dead husband. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? You want me to say, oh, uh, I love dancing in the water. Uh, no, it's just, just, she's got weird shit, shit to say. I'm going back to town, bitch. They're they're all gonna want to talk to me now, but fuck it. All right, we're putting reduced duration on earthquake now. <laughs> this smells like my desert husband. <laughs> oh, I mean, she's weird. All right, the scion just has some problems, and if anybody doesn't know the story of the scion, she's kind of a crazy lady that when she married her husband thought, "Oh, my husband's gonna beat me," because she had visions. So she decided that the best thing to do was to kill him first. So she did, and then. Reasonable. A perfectly reasonable argument, obviously. And then she got exiled for killing somebody for no tangible reason. Alright, I, I now have less duration on Earthquake. So that should maybe be good. I have really shit sockets, though. But that's why I picked up a 3-link. I mean, I should honestly probably have a better item how, uh, how many shards of binding do you have? Um, I don't know, I'll see in a minute. All this is garbage, especially that. Don't do anything I would. So say I've got I've got a couple of them. If you want to combine them together, or maybe get a four link out of it. Uh, sure. I already have a, a, a binding thing, but I want to save it for like you know a high level rare. Eh. That's nah, fine. Well, I'll be okay for now. Go, go, go back in the portal. Actually, I okay. Did, wait, did he? Wait, these guys didn't talk to me at all about the fact I just killed Dominus. I just realized this. I don't know if they knew about Dominus. They, they had a lot to say about piety, but... Yeah. I mean, I, they may have not voiced any dialogue for that. Alright, let me put this on. Alright. Now now we have reduced duration on Earthquake, so now... Um, apparently I don't have the fucking sockets uh, up properly. I was about to say, go. I was kind of waiting for a boom, but no boom happened. There you go. It's still so painfully looking slow looking. It kind of is, but it gets better. As you level it does a lot of damage. It does do a lot of damage. It's fun. it's kind of better than Wild Strike uh, for this character at least. Uh, well, Wild Strike just is kind of meh for you. Probably doesn't help. I'm running Generosity Haste either, so like you've got probably like really good attack speed around me. Well, right? it's good enough. I mean, I, I love the aftershock effects and stuff. So this is like the man mode, you get into the middle of fights and just fucking smash things in until like whatever. I mean, I could use Sunder too. Dole a smash? Spent. My spirit is spent. Uh, oh. I guess we'll check out one of these deados. Usually the aqueduct is pretty pretty clear, but they have like random blue packs here if you want to, you know. 
Get that dope experience. Get that dope experience. Well, well what else are you gonna call it? Uh, selling. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna go down the side passages and kill your dead husbands? <laughs> Good hell. Dude, Cyan is, Cyan is fucking crazy. That's all I have to say. She really is, though. There's a there's a reason she's locked up in a gate. Not even Dominus wanted to deal with that. <laughs> what is the story of why she got locked in a cage? That's a question that I want to have right now. Uh, apparently, uh, story-wise, she was like a like a magical performer or something for Dominus, and Dominus like was like trying to get her powers because that's why a lot of those people were in cages. Dominus was like doing weird things with people it's and like, trying like Big Bird is smashing my face up. Oh, Big Bird. Hundred foot shadow. Long story short, Scion had some like weird like premonition powers or something and Dominus wanted to harvest her for reasons. Are his boots any good? I don't know. Okay. I don't have place. any wisdom scrolls. You suck them up, dude. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Yeah, you can have uh, you can have this one. Oh my god, it's a chromatic too. Actually, I'm gonna put Herald of Ash. Actually, Herald of Ash is okay. Never mind. It's fine. Heidi alludes to it when you first see her. I saw you dance for Dominus, girl. Tis a shame what's about to happen to you or something. I don't know. Heidi. Heidi's also very weird and has some very funky sound and dialogue. I mean, the most sane one is the assassin character. Oh, hey, like it's Vic Vicus Giant Bone. I mean, I wonder how giant his bone is. Oh. I'm asking the real questions here. Oh, dude, the staff. Nice. Alright, let's see. Does the staff do damage? No, it doesn't. Fuck that shit. I mean, the duelist is pretty sane, too, all things considered. All things considered. I mean, let's be honest. He killed a guy for spitting on his honor after he had sex with his wife, which is maybe not the worst thing in the world, but, I mean, people in Florida do that all the time. So, I mean... Wait, he has a wife? No, he fucked the other guy's wife. Oh, I see. Which, you know, obviously when you get caught like that, the best thing to do is just kill the other guy. I mean, Tor is down there. What does she want us to do? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit, lag. Uh, or maybe. You in the mood for some? I have a certain. For this hunt, I'm going to share a piece of. I don't, I don't, I don't really know if I want to be doing this. We'll have to go across the entirety <laughs> of the aqueduct yeah, fuck, again. Yeah, fuck that. If she wants us. To, if she wants us to do that, she shouldn't be at the very end. All right, let's go talk to all the Act Three people. We opened the gates to you for two reasons only: Dominus and piety. They made themselves our enemies. You made them dead. Now, Oyan believes there is a third reason. The beast is our enemy. Perhaps you can make it dead as well. Pride is a common flaw in men. We Maraketh beat such sickness out of our boys. Do you know why, duelist? If left unchecked, pride becomes a plague. There is a cure, of course. It's called devotion. Uh, I'm just gonna look to see if there's any good four links. I mean, there's another fucking steel gauntlets that are three link, but no. I'm watching. I like you. sockets. I saw you fight back in Theopolis. You were good, but what you did back there in San, it was terrifying. True. Don't misunderstand me. Piety, the rest, they deserve what they got. But there's no one like that here. These Maraketh, they're good people. Oh, he knows that, Vanya. I hope so, Pataris. See ya. Many great things begin at the foot of a mountain, Exile. So too do many tragedies. Often a path becomes a fork, and the echoes of your actions push you down one side or the other. Do you know where you were being carried? Would you like to? I will see you again. Jeez, alright, there's three more characters we gotta go talk to. The time has come, not a cockroach, to crawl up into the bowels of this nightmare, traverse its innards, and rip out its corrupted heart. Oyun will help us. Go on now. Hobnob with the Maraketh Matriarch. 
Learn what needs to be learned, and quickly. There's a filthy darkness down in that mountain, and it's reeking with impatience to meet you. Ta-ta! It is the path of blood and glory that leads you to our gate. We Maraketh understand this path, yet we fight for our tribe, our Kara. You fight only for yourself, care only for yourself. That is your strength. Love breeds fear. You have no such weakness. And that is why you will kill the beast within the mountain. Lady Diala has told me this. She has much faith in you, Duelist. The question is, can we Maraketh share in her faith? Sir Kemmer Deshret sealed the mines, trapped the nightmare within its black den. The beast should never have been imprisoned. The beast should have been destroyed, yet for all her ferocity, it seemed that Deshret lacked the courage to do so. And now, after two centuries guarding this hole in the ground, this Akara lacks the strength. But you are not Deshret, and you are not one of us. You will succeed where we have failed. Deshret's banner will break the seal and open the mines. It was taken from her when she fell to Vol, the brittle emperor. Take the stairs to the southwest. Descend to the dried lake. You shall have no trouble finding the brittle emperor. You'll smell him before you see him. Bring Deshret's banner home, and you will be free to pass into the darkness as you wish. Act with care. Alright, and there's one last guy. Tasuni. I am Tasuni. He who peers into the gloom. Who hears the black hearts that thunder within the mountain deep. If you seek enlightenment, find a torch. If you seek to understand the nightmare, I can help feel your way through the darkness. You have bled and you have murdered, duelist. Why? For your precious glory. And where are you now? At the end of a world on the brink of extinction. Glorious! Yeah, the Tsuni is so quiet, actually. Yeah, I was kind of noticing that too. I think they gave him a new voice, because all the new voice now? lines for people are way quieter. Yeah, they have to fix that. But Mike, that's audio mixing. That takes work. You can't you can't complain about a free game. I have something for you. <gasps> you will be remembered. Give some life to his minions. Do you need help with something? That's awesome. Pat would appreciate that. Until next time. Pat does appreciate it, Mike. Alright guys, we're in Act 4, and that's all the time we got for today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.